All right, so we want to find what the volume is, and we're wrapping this around the uh, x equals 5 point, so right here. So it's kind of going to be like a dome going around this whole thing. So we're going from, actually, we're going to go from 0 to 5 still, and then just what our radius is going to be instead of 2 pi x is going to be 2 pi times 5 minus x, because the further we get to our, our centerpiece here, the more it's going to... Um, diminish this. All right, and then we then we have our dx value right here, or our uh, thickness equation. And I'm actually going to make this um, x raised to the one half dx. So if we integrate this, I'll put two pi out in front. We're going to have um, actually we're going to have and we're going to integrate from zero to five of let's see here five x raised to the one half minus x raised to the 3 halves, and all this dx. So when we integrate this, what we're going to end up with is 2 pi, and then we'll have 10 thirds x raised to the 3 halves minus 2 fifths x to the 5 halves. This is after I integrate from 0 to 5. And ultimately what we end up with, so volume, ten times five raised to three halves over three minus two five raised to the five halves over five. And then uh, the nice thing about zero is I'm not going to plug it in, but we just get zero. All right, so what we end up with, 2 pi times quantity 50 root 5 over 3 minus 50 root 5 over 5. And finally, when we s simplify all this, um, well, I'll do one more step. So 2 pi and then 20 root 5 over 3 and finally um, 40 root 5 pi over 3 and that's it and that's what happens if um, you pivot oops if you pivot here up at the at the drawing if you pivot, pivot around um, x equals 5 and then you fill in all this and then you get the area around there filled in all right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.